In the hinterland of China's Yunnan Guizhou Plateau, mysterious villages stand quietly, waiting for the world to discover them. They are like isolated paradise, hanging above the wall, isolated from the world, and can only rely on the scarcely traveled goat's intestine path to connect with the outside world. One of the most mysterious is Baoshan Stone Town in Lijiang, Yunnan Province. This small village is surrounded by mountains on three sides, overlooking the Jinsha River on the other side, surrounded by the wall, the whole village is like a falcon's amazing nest, so that all the pedestrians who come from afar are amazed. The village is densely inhabited by more than a hundred families, whose ancestors reclaimed this territory as early as 700 years ago and have prospered here generation after generation. Traveling further west, you will find another paradise, Gulo village, an ancient East settlement in Sichuan. Legend has it that in order to escape from the war, the ancestors here climbed the cliffs with their bare hands and built their homes on top of the cliffs of the Dada River Canyon. Gula Village stands at an altitude of 1,400 meters above sea level, and has been praised by the world as the village on the heavenly ladder. For generations, the villagers of Gula Village have relied on ropes and vines to climb between the cliffs, looking down into the deep valley below, the danger of the palpitating cliffs. It wasn't until 2003, when the government cut a three-kilometer long Roman road through the cliffs, that the villagers' way of life changed. Nowadays, you can get a glimpse of Gula Village by walking along this winding, cave-like road. Walking along this ladder-like path, you can only hear the rumbling echo of boulders rolling on the steep wall above your head, as if you were stepping into a fairyland.我是牙叶啊今天从县城回来了哇太热了现在走到这个第二道干我这里当我家应该天黑了现在才走到第二道干我这里为的是一些生活用品希望看到此视频的各个基础上因为大家爸妈点个赞哈留个关注谢谢大
。希望看到此视频的哥哥姐姐叔叔阿姨们，大家帮忙点个赞。我们现在走了一走到一半的路了啊！看到视频的帮忙点个赞，谢谢大家。In the cliff village in Shangu Zhai, the villagers' farming life was difficult, but they overcame the hardships with hard work and wisdom. As the whole village is built on the steep cliff, the land available for farming is very limited and scattered. Each family is only given a small piece of terraced land, which is of irregular height and shape, posing many challenges to farming. Nonetheless, the villagers are self-reliant and utilize their infinite wisdom to diligently cultivate the small and steep terraces. The first step in the farming process is to clear the terraces of weeds. Men, women and children have to lie on their stomachs on the edge of the cliffs, holding hoes and uprooting the weeds one by one, a laborious and arduous task. Next, they begin to organize the land, loosen the soil and apply fertilizer to prepare for the growth of crops. This labor often requires the villagers to crouch in the field for a long time, carefully plowing the cliff edge for fear of falling into the abyss if they miss a step. Harvest time is even more arduous, 
as the villagers have to harvest different crops in turn. In the case of corn, they wield scythes to cut off the ears and carefully place them in sacks. Apple harvesting is even more laborious, as they pick the fruit one by one along the steep cliffs. Then carry the heavy sacks and transport the apples down the cliffs step by step. Farming here is extremely hard, but the villagers use hard work and wisdom to overcome this hardship. It is this spirit of simplicity and honesty that has sustained the farming culture for centuries on this piece of land, and nurtured the rural wisdom of harmonizing with nature. They work diligently on the limited and scattered terraces, carefully planting crops such as corn and apples, doing their best to ensure the harvest, and maintaining a harmonious symbiosis with nature. This cherishing and love for the land reflects the beautiful vision of harmonious coexistence between human beings and nature. The villagers have reclaimed this small and steep land with their own hands, watered every inch of the terraces with sweat, and carefully planted corn, apples, and other crops. They not only use wisdom and hard work to solve the difficulties, but also in the attitude of reverence for nature, carefully cultivate the cliff edge, fearing that a mistake will fall into the abyss, this value of life and reverence for nature, so that they in nature to maintain a harmonious symbiotic relationship. Hello,叔叔,妈妈,我们三个来收玉米 大家看看啊 我的天啊！大家好，我是杨叶。今天爸爸我们两个来这里，这里面收玉米啊，结果玉米被猴子吃的个呱呱的哈，这么大的地啊，你看这么大的一个地，只收了两块，两块我的都没有买。现在准备回
我记得我们两个拉一匹马去另一个地方驮大米去啊，然后我们怕那个天热，所以早早就起来了啊。现在把这些分开抓哈，分开抓，这个盐把它打开，玉米的话不，哦，不是大米的话不用打开了啊。In the cliff village of Ingshan Gujai, the transportation of living materials became a difficult task because the whole village was built on a steep cliff. The villagers cleverly utilized the power of horses to overcome this difficulty. Whenever there were supplies to be transported, the villagers would recruit some strong young men to form a horse team. They would first count the materials to be transported, including food, firewood, and daily necessities, and then organize and pack them into a number of heavy burdens. Then they would bring in the old horses, which, although older, were strong and had good footing, making them the best transportation companions. The young men would tie the heavy loads to the horses' backs one by one, some even needing to be tied securely with ropes. The journey was full of ups and downs, 18 bends and 9 curves, and the horses' hooves stomped out a cloud of dust. The most difficult part is to climb the almost vertical heavenly ladder, each stone step is very steep, need people and horses and force to climb up one level. Thank you. 